Hello everyone, here's a look at the uh, flying practice uh, set that came out now in 2021. I uh, kind of like this set. I think it's uh, pretty good with uh, what comes with it. And um, you get four figures. Here's a golden quirrell. And uh, he looks exactly like in that uh, 2018 um, Great Hall set. And uh, he is, uh, of course, in gold. Come on, focus. Yeah, there we go. And uh, that's the detail for his face. Here's the back, 20 years of Lego Harry Potter. And you get the uh, second face here with Voldemort. So uh, that's good. I think um, I'm actually warming up to these uh, golden minifigures. I think um, I may find some use for them, uh, but I'm not sure what that would be yet. But I'm sure I can find something because I'm not one to display figures uh, really. It's not like it's there are collectibles and uh, there's nothing wrong with them, but I would like to uh, find some specific purpose for for them to uh, to fit in a setup or something like like if they were statues statues or something. But then I would mix and match and maybe do something to cover up this or just have them be facing a wall or or I guess not facing a wall. But, yeah, we'll take a look at the other minifigures. They have these uh, good little um, transparent, uh, I guess, uh, well, almost like pole pieces that they're nothing new, but they're very useful for this uh, purpose of having them uh, fly on their brooms like this. You get three brooms with the set, and uh, so you can fly all three main minifigures. Here's uh, Madam Hooch and um, this is the uh, second uh, edition of her that we've gotten in recent years but it's the fourth one we've, we're getting um, overall so I think uh, her face looks a bit weird here. I think um, the face print is um, strange with how wide her mouth is and I think that looks a bit strange. The torso is good, nothing wrong with it, um, no leg printing, uh, but she gets this cloak piece and a little bit of back printing. Uh, you can see here that it's um, just a bit, but nothing special. And uh, she also gets a uh, double-sided uh, head. Um, so uh, if you take off the hair, you can see here her alternate face expression. And I think that looks better than the one in the front. But I still don't think it looks very much like Madame Hooch. I think uh, this one could have been better. I mean, uh, her eyes, they're mostly black here, and I guess that's Lego's style, but they're supposed to be more yellow, which I think some earlier versions have had. Um, here they look yellow, but yeah, I think this, this particular face print on this head, I mean, these two prints, I think they could have been better, but still useful i mean i have the uh the madam hooch that came that, that came out in 2018 so i think that one was better maybe i'll make a comparison video uh but i don't have the second edition i have the first and uh the third and fourth but yeah not the second one so maybe if i get that one i can make a comparison between all three we also get Draco Malfoy. He is uh, nothing, nothing special here. Uh, same face, same hair that we've had since 
2018 and um, this torso is uh, the only thing that's maybe a draw for for this figure here because we haven't had too many of these um, uh, cloaked Slytherin torsos so um, yeah definitely a good thing but we do get three of those in the uh, Polyjuice Potion Mistake set. So I think uh, if you want to collect those, that's the best way to uh, to do that, if you don't get them off Bricklink. Uh, now, I guess the uh, main character of this scene, Neville Longbottom, he is uh, also not special. I mean, there's nothing here uh, about this figure that's uh, new or exclusive to this set. We've had this uh, torso print for a long time, came out in 2018, and uh, the face print too. This is the same Neville face print that we uh, that we had uh, from that um, collectible minifigures uh, version of him. Um, that time. This alternate face print was uh, to uh, to show him having fainted from uh, here in the Mandragoras, um, because that's the scene that that figure was from. This one, I guess, it's him being uh, knocked semi unconscious by the broom. Um, so yeah, but one thing that is exclusive to this set is his uh, remember all. So here's a bit of a closer look at that. Um, similar to uh, the version we got back in 2001, um, or if it was 2002 actually, because some of the Philosopher's Stones uh, sets came out in 2002. But either way, it's similar to that one that came out long ago. Uh, but different, mainly because uh, there is a bit of red in there, and there's also this uh, this thing going across diagonally instead of uh, across horizontally. So uh, yeah, but I think if I take this off uh, without dropping it. I think uh, it's it's a good thing that they they show this like this here, so you have the red smoke, and then you have the white smoke, and that's very clever because that's how the remember all works. Like it shows different colors, and um, I think this is good. So it's an improvement, definitely from the um, earlier version. And I guess we also do get, technically, a fifth minifigure with this set. So we get this uh, statue with a nice uh, skirt piece and uh, nothing special, just a plain gray, uh, light bluish gray beard and uh, swords. And um, I guess this is something good. This this might be a draw actually for people to get this set because um, I don't know if they made this uh, light bluish gray skirt piece in a different set before. So uh, if you want to make if you want to collect statues or use that for something, then um, maybe this could be a draw. Um, but there's nothing here that's that special other than that. I mean, the torso is just plain, no printing. The head is just plain, no printing. And uh, this uh, beard piece we've had with uh, Dumbledore before. Um, so, uh, yeah. Although I think we've had quite a few with him having a white beard. Uh, so uh, maybe the gray is not as common, but we've definitely had this gray before. Um, and 
I think it's also similar, if not identical, to the one we got for Gandalf a few years back. Um, so, uh, yeah. This is also a figure. And uh, he goes up here. On top of the battlements. And uh, this is, of course, a way you could... Uh, uh, you could... Uh, make the scene where Neville is hanging off from uh, from this guy's uh, sword. Let me just put that back on. So you have uh, you have these uh, swords hang hanging out and of course Neville doesn't come with a cloak piece but we do get a cloak with uh, Madame Hooch so I guess you could just uh, remove that from her and put it on Neville and just have him Hang on like this instead of her, and uh, just replay that scene exactly like it is uh, in uh, the movie. Except that, well, I guess in the movie it falls off, and you can't really do that without breaking the or tearing apart the the cloak piece. But anyway, you can you can do that. Um, so yeah. I would have maybe preferred if uh, if the statue was closer to the edge, so that 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 could be more accurate, or even hanging over. But like I think this is just because they uh, they wanted this set to be a different a special scale, and also you see what they did here. They used this kind of. Uh, um, specialized uh, plate to uh, to go on top and also on the bottom here so we get four of this and that's another thing that I don't like like for one thing you can't put things wherever you want and for the other thing it doesn't really make sense with Hogwarts I mean why would why would you have something like this up here on the battlements it's and in here indoors I mean that's not accurate to anything I've seen in uh, in any of the movies and uh, it doesn't really make sense to me and also it doesn't really help with uh, the new uh, function they've made for mm, making uh, making these uh, modular builds so uh, yeah that's definitely something that I think is worth questioning and uh, maybe modifying if you care about that I might just because yeah I don't I don't like these I mean they're they're good for maybe something else but I don't think they fit very well here um, if we just had plain plates here to match with this and match with the uh, earlier sets that we got before this year I think uh, that would make more sense um, but these are removable and there's nothing about this plate that makes it better for taking a part like this I mean, you, could, you might as well just have had a, a regular one uh, because as you see here you have you have these tiles um, going uh, almost all the way and you just have uh, two um, one by four plates or partial plates partial tiles to uh, to keep keep this uh, uh, studded in and uh, yeah I think that works fine there's nothing wrong with that function is fine um, now, also in here, you have the door to get in, and you have a little cabinet with some um, trophies, Quidditch trophies, and this is this one here. I think is very very good uh, on the shield. You get the more accurate awards or trophies uh, as it is in the movie. Philosopher's Stone um, 
better than uh, than what's uh, in the 2010 Hogwarts set. We get you get this shield uh, that's the same shield as this, but the print with James Potter text is just filling up the whole shield, which is, I mean, that's also fine, but it's it's a bit big. So I think this is more appropriate for um, accuracy, and um, it's good. You can't read uh, what it says on the other ones. It just says Gryffindor on top and then James Potter uh, on the lowest shield down there. So, um, yeah. You get a silver goblet up there on top of the cabinet and also this very common trophy piece that we've had in many sets. And uh, yeah, these are the things. Tiny minifigure and I guess that's a quaffle that's uh, in glass and I don't know what this paddle is supposed to be um, haven't been able to figure that out let me know if you if you have a suggestion or if you know uh, and here's a crate just filled with uh, the uh, Quidditch uh, balls and uh, Yeah, so you get you get a snitch, you get a quaffle, and uh, this fell out. This is uh, a beater's uh, club, and you get two of the um, bludgers. Okay, there it is. So it's a little build for a beater's club here which I think works well. Oh yeah, by the way, you get three of these uh, wand assemblies, you get two of these collectible chocolate, uh, chocolate crog, uh, frog cards, <laughs> and then you get a bunch of extra spare pieces, extra ones of all the tiny small ones, and also an extra sword, which I was surprised by. Oh yeah, and also this spear that goes, oh yeah, this this piece uh, goes on the lantern, I didn't show you that. This is uh, the same, or almost the same, lantern build that we got in uh, Diagon Alley. It's just that this uh, little cylinder piece on top is uh, different, I've never seen that before. It's... Um, I guess this is a Technic uh, cylinder piece or something, um, because, as you can see, it goes with the Technic pin, so yeah, maybe this is something that's been out for years and I just haven't seen it, but either way, new to me. And also on front on the front here you have uh, these um, house um, banners, so you get all four houses and they look the same almost uh, with the prints. It's, it's just that you can see here that well, Ravenclaw is uh, they have squares, uh, Hufflepuff they have uh, stripes, Gryffindor has crowns, and Slytherin has little arrows and uh, the rest of, um, of these prints it's just the same almost looks like paw prints or something but not really but yeah I think these are nice they're good and um, also there is a play function with this here you can make Neville go up and down which if I was a kid playing with this set I don't know if I would have used that too much I mean other than just have it be him like smashing smashing into the ground maybe but I would probably if I if I was a kid play with him like just flying around knocking against the wall and everything so just freeing my hand which you can of course still do 
and you can take off these things very easily, which I think is also great. I mean, two of these are very easily removable, and you can just use them to simulate flying around. And uh, it's like it's a bit more lifelike, I guess. Or the suspension of disbelief is more easily managed, maybe, when you have this transparent stick. So, um, yeah. But I think that's probably everything I have to say about this set. Other than, of course, yeah, lots of people have been talking about the price, how this one is expensive and you're not getting enough. I think I'm happy with, with what I'm getting for what I paid for it. I mean, some places sell it for more than others, and I, I just looked at uh, an online overview of where is this the cheapest, and then the place where I bought it was at that price. So, uh, yeah. Um, I guess a bit of research could help with that. I mean, if you only have, if you're limited with options and you just have one or two stores and they all sell it for more than uh, what's maybe the cheapest available option i mean you can always get it online and uh, i think the cheapest options are usually um like you can usually get get sets online and they'll, they'll be sent to you so you don't have to go to the store but i guess shipping it takes a bit of time but either way, I'm happy with it for what I paid for it. And, um, yeah. So, uh, we'll see how I combine this with uh, the rest of the sets. I'm, uh, so far I've only gotten two. The Polyjuice Potion Mistake and this one. But I'm getting the, uh, the rest tomorrow, hopefully, if everything goes all right. So, uh, more reviews to come, and um, I hope you uh, like this review, and um, that I'll see you again. Goodbye.